Yo, so hi everyone, my name is Vlad and today I'm going to show you the functions that you have in love to in love oh <laughs> I wanted to say love today that you have in C love based on version 0 0.5.2 okay which has been released uh, Wednesday 21 September 2016 all right so let me show you the functions that come with C love related to window so first of all let's run C love and you get this black window the default black window with the title C love untitled window all right so let's first of all let's change the title and the size of the window all right let's do this so love that window because we are going we are dealing with a window window that set title and in a string with the name uh, give me a name please all right and now let's set the size of the window log window set mode and the first two parameters are uno uh, well i'm not going to type i'm too lazy sorry so the first parameter is the white of the window so let's put 400 and the height 400 let's run it now and voila you have give me a name please and as you can clearly see the window has changed in terms of size uh, now let's say you want to make the, the game full screen uh, the next parameter that we are going to enter is a full screen. So, full screen, true. Default is false, as you can probably tell. And I don't know if you can see, but I just entered in, a, in full screen. Um, let's set a background color to. I have no idea, something, something random. Okay. And change back, that is back to false. And right now, as. Okay, perfect, perfect color. Right now, you can scale the window. But, as you can see, I, I can't scale it anymore not more than this but I can scale it like this so the default values for scaling are, are these the minimum uh, the minimum wide and height will be one pixel but the maximum scale it's the size of the window you have just put so in our case it's 400 400 so you can scale more than that but if you want to do that then there come the next few parameters four to be exact so right now we have this parameter which is which is minimum x so right now the minimum x that you can scale is one pixel we are going to change that to 200 on the x and 150 um, on uh, Y and set the maximum scale value to 600 and 600 and now let's run this beast so yeah we are greeted with the standard size but now as you can see we can't scale more than 200 wide 150 uh, height and we can scale it now to 80, 800, oh no, 600, 600. So this is the maximum size that you, you, you can scale right now. So yeah. Uh, and now here comes another parameter which is great and it's handling the board. Whether or not you want to have the board. Right now the board is set to true, but we are going to set it to false just to see what happens. So 
Wait. Something is wrong. All right. So yeah, uh, it's wordless now. You don't have the board anymore. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Let me see if there any if there is anything more to this. Uh, oh yeah, there is. Also, you have the possibility to change the default position of the window. So right now, the window is going to start on the middle of your screen size. So let's change it to 100 and 100. And wow, voila, it's changed to 100 and 100. All right, so there are a couple more features that Siloff have has in terms of um, window. Uh, first of all, yeah, let's let's do this. Uh, local white love that window that get white print uh, and so yeah basically right now I'm just printing the values it should give me 400 400 all right Let's close it and yeah, you have here white is 400, height is 400, and also you have this debug function calls the version of SDL, OpenGL, GLS, Vendor, Render, OpenMA, and such. So, yeah, uh, those are handy, are quite handy, but yeah, so maybe some of you will use them, maybe some of you won't, but that. that doesn't matter. So yeah, the get height, get height works. Now we have set full screen. Basically, you just type here log that window set full screen. And is there something more uh, true? Oh, sorry, uh, it's true. And the mode you want to set it to full screen, which right now it's just desktop. Desktop. That's the only mode you can set it to full screen. And yeah, I don't know if you can. I don't know if you saw that, but it the, the window has been put at full screen. Uh, yeah. But note, this full screen, it's different than this full screen. This full screen scales everything. So it will fit the screen, while this this um, this um, full screen won't. So if you have a high resolution monitor, uh, there are going to be borders, black borders around your your uh, game screen if the resolution is not correctly set. All right? Maybe you already saw this in. And what I just run, but I'm not sure if OBS records that, so that's why I'm exactly telling you what happened. Then you have this, uh, this function which it's love graphics window it's create. So basically, let me show you. Um, bull, 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 no, no, sorry, it's local, um, let's see for created love window is created uh, print C so right now it should set false and now it should set true oh ah yeah 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 right sorry sorry about that uh, obviously, when <clears throat> yeah, so let let me explain why this um, that why this didn't work. Well, it's simple. First of all, uh, first of all, there are, there are um, values, default values for for silo. 
So if you forgot to set the mode, or maybe you didn't want to set the mode for for your screen, uh, then uh, CLOG will take the default values and create your window. And when times reach to load the code for log that load, you already have the window created. So that's why window created returns true, because the window when love that load has been called it's already created but what we are doing right now is just set the mode they set the title so basically we are not recreating the window we are just adjusting the window so that's basically all we are doing but yeah maybe sometimes the window is not created when love that load it's called maybe i don't know maybe you do some heavy loading stuff ah, I don't know so maybe then it's going to be false and it's going to help you debug stuff I'm not really entire and not entirely sure why you would need that feature but it's it's there to be then you have get title which is going to return the value of your title which is give me a name please Set position, set position, it's exactly like, like this. So basically, uh, log that graphics that set position, uh, it's window, sorry, window. And now you may be asking, okay, 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 I set the position 100 and 100. What if I want to set it back to the center of the screen? And note, you won't be able to use log that, gra that window log that graphics that get white or window that get white because that will only return the the size of the window not the size of your screen and the size of the screen can differ from one person to another so if you still want to put it in the middle of the screen no matter what screen then you are going to put it minus one minus one so this is a hard coded uh, value which is going to put your game screen in the middle as you can see right now okay then has focus it's a boolean which we are, well it's going to return one or, or or zero but it's a boolean has mouse focus the same get dimension returns get dimension it's written like this white height low that window get and yeah basically it's the same as this too okay uh, and yeah that that's pretty much everything that you have in terms of uh, of window uh, management uh, stuff so so yeah uh, that's pretty much it uh, if you want to to, 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 to download CLOV or, or make games in it or have questions then uh, you can go to my GitHub page which is going to be listed in the description you just click there uh, and download everything and don't forget to leave it a star if you enjoy the project uh, and most likely you will because it's awesome <laughs> Yeah, and next time I'm going to, to make videos about more modules that Silo has and because, yeah, you might be interested in knowing what features this framework has but features uh, will be added in the future so maybe in next year this feature uh, this video that I made it's not going to be uh, representative uh, anymore but uh, I'm going to update the videos if it's necessary so yeah thank you for watching and see you next time and yeah uh, bye